Evening folks, Brian here at Geomagnetic Earthwatch, Tuesday, June 3, 2025. Continuing the topic discussion on my belief that planet Earth is in the beginning phases of developing a multipolar field or weakening of their field in uh, different areas around the planet. We're going to start off by reminding ourselves what a muon is. So a muon is a secondary particle of a cosmic ray, uh, rather than uh, the resulting showering particles of multiple uh, muons, when a cosmic ray reaches and interacts with the uh, atmospheric atoms. Let's take a look first. And so once again, when a cosmic ray reaches the atmosphere, secondary showering particle results of uh, muons, which do uh, reach the surface of the Earth and penetrate through the crust. So what can the, uh, the secondary highly charged particles do once they reach us? Um, a number of things. They can induce currents through long conductors like uh, power lines, rail lines, substations, transformers. They can uh, cause what's called bubble nucleation, a silica-rich magma, heats up the magma, pressurizes the magma. So any magmatic bodies below the crust can be affected. Now, what has happened throughout the British Isles, Spain, Portugal, France, thus far? We've had multiple fires throughout the British Isles, including in the middle of the winter time in Scotland, brush fire, bush fire, minus 18 degrees Celsius, other unexplained fires in the United Kingdom, uh, Scotland, England, Wales, Ireland. There have been transformer fires, subway system power failures, grid failures elsewhere, as you know, communication failures, France, France, air traffic control, ATC, radar failures, and so on. This is where they spray, folks. And I'll give you my reasoning. I got to be careful of keywords, too, so I don't get any uh, attention. So stratospheric aerosol injections are not always for nefarious reasons, okay? They're not. So please don't start with me on uh, my platform here. It is also to mitigate the effects of cosmic ray penetration through the Earth's crusts into those magmatic bodies. Me, for example, I'm surrounded by volcanoes. They're everywhere. And like clockwork, just before incoming geomagnetic storms, they start spraying. They start spraying because they want to mitigate the effects of the cosmic ray penetration to, into the volcanoes around me. So why are they trying to protect us, Brian? Why, why would they do that? Well, until they are ready, until the time is right for them to seal themselves in their underground city bunkers, tombs. They can't allow catastrophic events to start up yet. Now it comes to the interesting part. What can stop a muon? Aluminum can. Aluminum can uh, help uh, stop the showering effect of uh, muons. And I'll include the link to a research paper. So basically, the greater the amount of aluminum results in lesser muon flux. And uh, what is the primary ingredient in the substance that they spray the skies with, folks? It is aluminum. What is their cover story? The cover story has always been to uh, have the aerial coverage of the substance they spray to help uh, limit global warming, to prevent global warming. So that is sort of, they are, they are kind of telling you the truth. They are using the uh, substance, 
which contains aluminum to deflect the particles from the sun. See, again, they will always tell you the truth. They have to give you a cover story. When they formally announced, announced the uh, existence of planet this in 1983, that is when, shortly after, they came up with the global warming narrative, headed up by Al Gore and John Kerry. They have to give a reasoning, false narrative, for the sudden catastrophic changes going to be happening on our planet, especially with the sea level rise, ocean inundations in the coastal cities, all its man-made global warming. Because they know what the gravitational effects is going to be. So they came up with that cover story. The cover story for all the stuff they're spraying in the sky, partially, is not just to conceal during certain times, but to provide a layer of protection they don't, then what's been happening in the United Kingdom, Portugal, Spain, Spain, France, would have been a lot worse, I suspect. But there's also the silence from the authorities brushing it off as conspiracies. Going back to the region of the United Kingdom down to Spain, Again, this is the area where they do frequent spraying. Uh, let's just take a look here. Where are we? So they will often, oftenly spray um, North Sea into France, Celtic Sea, Bay of Biscay, into uh, France and Spain and Portugal often. So this whole area from here to here, from here, so it all covers this entire area. This is the area that's been having all the issues with the grid failures communication failures, ATC failures, radar failures. This is the area that I suspect is developing a, an opening in the protective magnetic field or an extreme weak area because of the multipolar fields, I believe are starting to uh, develop. And by also uh, providing a thick cloud layer also absorbs the increase in the ultraviolet radiation coming in as well. So if they do not provide a layer of this protection, there would be a, 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 a cascade of catastrophic failures in, in the grids, more fires, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes. So I may not see all the pieces of the puzzle right away, but uh, this is what I believe is happening and why they uh, spray over this area and other areas. It is to provide a layer of protection. It is not, and, and please don't start quoting, oh, they've been developing this and they've been developing that. Yes, the whole world knows that. I'm trying to tell you what they will not tell you and what they have to cover up. 